Okay, so you may be asking, how do I create a homework assignment? You go over to homework. You cruise up to modify. Then you click manage homework. And then you go to create an assignment. Now here you can make a homework, quiz, test, multimedia assignment, add on offline assignments, um, import them from another course, and copy and assign. Let's create a homework. Alright, so now we need to name this homework. We'll name it my first one. Alright, now here I'll explain this button when we talk about using quizzes to automatically generate a homework assignment to ensure that students master a particular topic. So now we're going to go over to next. Okay, let's pick a chapter. How about, um, let's do uh, linear equations and inequalities in one variable. Now here we can go and we can um, click any one of the sections in there. Why don't we do addition property? And then the objectives here we'll just use all objectives, but it breaks down the individual problems by the objectives. Um, and we'll let the availability be all the questions, not just the ones that aren't in the study plan. We can also click here, and we can take um, problems from any book, not, the book, not just the book that is subscribed by your course. Over here, um, the question sources show publisher questions, custom for this book, and also here, create a custom question. We'll have another video on that. But for now, let's just create this homework assignment. So here it's given us our available questions. There are several things we can do in order to choose these. Each one of these comes with a thumbnail so that you can see it ahead of time. That's great. Okay, some of the pictures aren't correct. Um, I'm sure that they'll work the bugs out. This is new stuff. But I assure you that the problems are correct. Just the thumbnails are a little off. Okay, so now it takes us to a preview and add homework window. We can click these little boxes over here and move them automatically over, or we can view the problem ahead of time. How do we select these guys? Here's the... Um, help that comes with it. Um, here we can change the scoring options on that, but we can also do that in the gradebook. So what do we want to do? Say we want to add this one, then it goes to the next one. Say we want to add this one, and then it goes to the next one. Say we want to skip this one, skip this one, and skip this one, and skip this one. And then we want to add this one. Um, fractions, fun. Add this one. Sure. All right, now this is for the sake of an example, so we weren't spending too much time looking at the particular problems. So then we're going to close this. Sure. Now, here, look at what have, has just happened. All the ones that we have selected are over here, and we can change the weightings of the points over there, and this means that it can be read by a screen reader. Um, that's about all we need to see from here. We can also preview what the student will see by clicking that button. And say we've chosen too many. We can click this, and we can remove one. Um, are you sure you want to do this? I'm pretty sure. All right. So, let's go to next. Now here's where we um, set up the due dates. Here, this is when it's going to become available. Perhaps we don't want to make it available until tomorrow. Alright, so now at 12 a.m. tomorrow, this one will become available for your students. On the due dates, that's when we're going to decide when it's going to be due. So then, let's say that it's due on the 15th, and 11 p.m., or 11.59 p.m., that's at the end of the day. You can go and select any time that you want to put it in, and here we're in the Pacific Standard Time. Um, when you set up your course, you set up Pacific or wherever you are, and then it changes it 
permanently. Okay. Um, yeah, here we can change which chapter this homework appears in, but it's chapter two, so let's do that. Um, allow students to change score after the due date. This is a neat little feature, right? Perhaps um, you allow late homework. Well, it can do it all by itself. Now, um, you can require a final submission. Here, we were on the 15th. Let's give him an extra week. Let's give him till the 22nd. And now we can even deduct points. We can deduct just a flat penalty, or what I like to do, you can deduct it per day. And this penalty here, let's say 10% per day it's late. You can also adjust it by points. But I'm going to leave it percentages for now. And y they can continue to work on these. Say they completed half of it on time. Well, if you click check this box, only half, or the problems that were late, are reduced in penalty. And then, of course, you can allow partial credit. Um, setting prerequisites. That'll be a different video. And you can also limit the number of times a student can work on each question so that you can help eliminate some of the uh, just guess and answer, hit enter, just guess and answer, hit enter. Um, lock all the correct answers. Save question values in students. Allow students to print that homework assignment. And also, you can adjust the learning aids. Um, earlier, we had had some learning aids on the right-hand side of our problems. Well, you can change them, and you can take them out. Um, also, yeah, they can see them in review mode. And results update the study plan. The study plan, we'll have another video on that. But this is um, a customized toolkit for the student to learn and then allow other instructors to import this assignment. Say you're creating a course and you want to allow other people to import. And then, and then, I think we have it all. We've done one, two, three, and we've just created that homework assignment. Save it and assign it. And then right on up here, we see my first one is there and it tells you when it starts and when it's due. And then over here, you can edit it if you've made any mistakes or plan on making any changes. I think that concludes the video on how to make a homework assignment.